Well, ground was broken today on a brand new $124 million plant in Asheville. Governor Pat McCrory attended the ceremony at the future site of GE Aviation's parts plant. The company says the new facility will be the first in the world to mass produce engine components made of advanced ceramic matrix composite materials, or CMCs. And GE expects to hire more than 340 people at the plant over the course of five years. That hiring will begin sometime next year. Today's groundbreaking sets Asheville on a course to develop new aviation technology. The 13's Frank Fraboni reports on how this expansion is helping shape the future of air travel. GE Aviation's machining operation in Asheville is about to begin a transition into a high-tech future by developing components for the next generation of jet engines. This technology is really something very unique. The new 170,000 square foot facility will be the first in the world to mass produce engine components made of advanced ceramic matrix composite or CMC materials. This CMC material is about 30 percent lighter, uh, which ultimately translates to fuel efficiency for the airlines. The CMC component that will be made in Asheville is a high pressure turbine shroud for the company's best selling Leap jet engine. The new engines will power Airbus A320s and Boeing 737s. GE Aviation already has orders for more than 5,000 LEAP engines, meaning job growth and security. There's tremendous opportunity to continue to make more and more parts. Plans are to hire 52 new employees trained through a partnership with Asheville Buncombe Technical Community College. We're going to uh, put together a training facility. AB Tech will create a training center with state-of-the-art machinery to prepare for a growing workforce. The aviation industry uh, in North Carolina has moved into third in the nation, so what we hope is that uh, this is going to be a catalyst for other training, other companies. Resulting in more job growth and economic benefits, lifting Asheville's aviation industry to new heights. In Asheville, Frank Fraboni, News 13.